July 28th, Pope St. Innocent I. St. Innocent, a native of Albano, Italy, reigned from the year 401 to 417. This energetic pope is known for his zealous warfare for the entire church. His decrees became law in Spain, Gaul, and Italy. He demanded that the Eastern bishops reinstall St. John Chrysostom, Bishop of Constantinople, who had been unjustly deposed. He censored the Bishop of Jerusalem for his negligence. He ratified the condemnation of the Pelagian bishops of Africa who denied the need of grace for salvation. In 410, during his pontificate, Rome was ravaged by the barbarians of Alaric. He took the responsibility of rebuilding the city and showed great charity in helping the victim. Comments by Professor Plinio Saint Innocent is one of the greatest popes of the 5th century. It is beautiful to see how he was entirely faithful against a hard struggle in a tragic era. He lived at a time of the fall of the Western Roman Empire, when it seemed as if a multitude of accumulated chastisements fell upon the empire all at once. Historians do not sufficiently emphasize the simultaneous developments of two major things at that time. First, the invasion of the barbarians touched the temporal order and indirectly shook the church as well, since those barbarians were either pagans or heretics. Second, various heresies burst out of everywhere when the church emerged from the catacombs. Therefore, the church faced attacks equal to, or even worse than, those which chastised the state. However, the two institutions, the church and the state, had different destinies. While the putrid Roman state disappeared, the church produced great popes, not ecumenical popes, but rather warrior pontiffs who relentlessly fought against the heresies, making continuous excommunications and wounding the enemies of the church as much as they could. The Roman emperors adopted the pacifist policy, permitting the barbarians to cross the military post of the empire that had been constructed near the natural barriers of the Rhine and Danube rivers. After crossing those lines, the barbarians were allowed to remain inside the empire and settled land there. Once the empire's army became accustomed to their presence and let down its guard, the barbarians started their invasion from within. On the contrary, the great popes of those times did not take a pacifist attitude. They energetically fought the enemies of the church and strongly defended the doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ. The result of those two opposite policies is that the Western Roman Empire ended while the church, led by popes like St. Innocent, rose to a most glorious destiny. Those popes were the first great men who constituted the foundation for the Middle Ages. These considerations show us how that energetic policy of the popes to resolve the problems of the church and defend the truth is the correct one. Let us pray to Pope Innocent I to give us energy like his to defend the cause of the Catholic Church in these days of abomination in which we live, even if the example we receive from high places is the opposite.